All right, guys, here's the update. Um, I, I did a lot of work and I didn't record um, this last Saturday. I just threw the axle back in, pretty much did everything, and I did not have a chance to get my camera out and record, so I'm just going to do an update video. But the axle's back in, the control arms, anti-roll bar, everything's put back in. Torque box reinforcements are put in and welded. So I got all my gaskets that I need to put the motor back together. We came back here Saturday morning, we woke up, we started tearing into it, putting the car back together. And then we got to where we we're going to assemble the motor. We we're going to put the motor back in on Saturday also. And Jeremy was like, you know, you could kind of rock the piston and it felt funny in the cylinder wall. So we're like, let's pull the piston out instead of just putting the cylinder head back on. And luckily we did because uh, the top ring is actually melted to the ring land on uh, number two cylinder from where it got, I guess it got so hot. So I messed the valve up and it tore the rings up. So, and at the bottom of the cylinder wall, it actually scratched it a little bit from where the ring couldn't move. So the, I need a new block, which I, I have two other just four or six blocks laying around. So that's not a big deal, but the motor will need to get rebuilt. But that's part of it. So we found that bad news. So that put a halt on putting the motor back in, but we did get pretty far on the suspension stuff. All right, so I got everything put in, got the whole rear axles put back in, everything's tightened up. Upper control arm stuff looks good. Lower control arm fit good. The anti-roll bar, we got all it. The links welded on. Anti-roll bar welded in up there above the above the tailpipes. Um, everything went pretty straightforward. I can't adjust pinning angle and stuff until I put the motor back in. So the pinning angle is probably not right. And that everything's just adjusted to you know what they tell you to do on the on the instructions. So, but it looks good. All fit good. I'm pretty happy with it. Hopefully, it does better at the track. So I'm gonna send the motor off. Uh, I'm, I have to order another piston. I can buy them individually, luckily. So I have to order a piston, wait for that to come in, get new bearings and rings and all that. And then I'm gonna send the motor off, have it rebuilt with the new block. And then I'll, when all that comes back to me, then I'll be putting the motor back in. But there's, so there will be a little bit of a delay, but this is just a short update of what we got. The, the rear suspension looks good and hopefully I can get some better 60 foot times at the track but thanks for watching We have had the worst weather ever here. We're, we're in Georgia, but I bet it's rained two and a half weeks straight, so we haven't been able to go to the track or nothing. And obviously my car's broken, so I wouldn't be running, but we take Jeremy's blue car back to the track, but nasty weather. Hopefully the weather clears up and we can get like some more track footage of the blue car. Once the motor gets back, we'll be putting it back in, both cars will be back running, and we'll shoot out more videos of it, but here's a little short little update. And